Are you ready? Because we're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022, and today we're making muscles. So grab your dumbbells and let's go. All right, beautiful bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Have your dumbbells completely out of the way, and let's get started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And you know what feels like self-love? Losing weight with the 5-0 method, where every day we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea. Idea, it could be this easy and this fun to lose weight. We are going to eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. We are also going to drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers in fluid ounces of water. We're going to get the right amount of sleep, which means that you're going to go to bed at the same time every night, get up at the same time every morning, and not spend so much time worrying about how much in between was actually sleep. <laughs> we're going to exercise moderately like this one today, which is not necessarily more than you were doing before. And my friends, we are going to manage our minds every single day by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And today's helpful thought, I love this one. I shamelessly stole this one from my friend Amy. Today is the day. Do you love the way that sounds? Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. Today is the day. To me, everything about that sentence just fills me with this like possibility, which is probably not really a feeling. <laughs> Except that I'm totally pretending like it is. Maybe, maybe the feeling that I that I feel when I say today is the day is like hopeful, but even better than hopeful. Not like, oh gee, I hope it goes well, but like. I'm making today go well. Like I am controlling the day. I am directing <laughs> the day. I am going to create for myself the best day that I possibly can because today is the day. I love this one. And today is the day that we are making some muscles. My friends, I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for 40 seconds. None of that is rest. Take today at the gentlest, most moderate, most loving pace that you want to because it's all strength all the time. All my favorites. In fact, we're going to get started with something I call curtsy press ups, which is kind of what it sounds like. We're going to come down in a curtsy lunge. And as we do that, we're going to press up. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I have like tons of room here. I'm just going to I'm gonna scoot up, I'm gonna scoot over. We're gonna get going with these 40 second intervals. Take your time on this. As you come down in that curtsy lunge, really help yourself to not being like all the way down in a curtsy lunge if you would rather not. You can absolutely just do a step back. In fact, that's what I'm pretty much gonna do here just because I'm limited on space and frankly, limited on how much I want to get down and up <laughs> today. So here's what it looks like. I've got pairs of exercises. When it beeps, we're gonna do a deadlift front raise, which is exactly what it sounds. We're going to do a deadlift and then we're going to bring it into a front raise. We're going to do this pair twice in a row before moving on. So it's, it's not a no repeat. It's not, it's a repeating no repeat. We're going to do each pair two times. So here comes that deadlift with a front raise. So we're going to push our booty back and we're going to pull our booty forward. And as we're in that forward position, we're going to bring our arms up in a front raise. So really thinking about keeping your back nice and straight, keeping your core pulled in nice and tight. As you come up, we move that work from your hips and your butt up into the middle of your back. This is all rear chain all the time, this particular exercise. So really thinking about pulling in your core to keep the front of you balanced. I'm actually going to scoot my feet a little bit wider apart. Sometimes, have you ever had that where you find yourself in the middle of an exercise and then here we go with those curtsy press ups again. You find yourself in the middle of an exercise and you're like, okay, this feels okay, but not amazing. My friends feel free to make adjustments when in doubt, find the way that this exercise feels best to you. That might mean making a complete modification, doing something entirely different. Always, always, always okay with me. My motto is that today is the day 
that you are going to get your best workout by not injuring yourself. If there is something that just doesn't feel right to you, don't do it. Feel free to do something else, something entirely different. Here we go with that deadlift front raise or something similar, but a little bit shifted in some way. Always be thinking about what's going on with your body. If it doesn't feel right, it's not. And I don't mean that like, okay, some exercises don't feel good. Like they're difficult. Like this front raise part, honestly, I love the deadlift part, but the front raise is a little bit tough for me. So I don't love that part. And it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm so strong. This is amazing. But it still feels correct to me. By the way, when it beeps again, we're gonna do step back flies. You're gonna have your hands out to the side in a way that feels comfortable, which for me means that I've got my elbows kind of bent a little bit. As we step back, we're gonna fly it open and then bring your hands back together and then fly it open. Oh my gosh, this is a big step back. <laughs> Find, find the place to step back that feels best to you. The point of this truly, oh thank goodness, I gave myself a gimme after this coming up next for doing squats. I'm so happy to see that. This stepping back, you've, I'm, if this is not your first workout with me before, we have probably done some kind of step back before. Stepping back is hard for me. My balance just doesn't want to go that direction. Okay, here we go with squats. Thank goodness. Now, I love squats, so that's a thank goodness for me. If you don't love squats, please, please, please feel free to do some kind of kick instead, some kind of something else that feels best to you. My friends, there is no reason to do an exercise that feels wrong or feels like it could be an injury waiting to happen. It is always a good idea to make sure that you're paying attention to what's going on with your body. You, you know better than me for sure <laughs> as far as what's going on with your body. I can tell you, oh, this exercise, this is what we do and this is how it works. Here we go with those step back flies again but I can't see you and I can't tell you what it is that's going to need an adjustment in order to do it in a way that doesn't feel kind of funky to you. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of funky, let me just get my brain into this step back. This is not easy for me. <laughs> And that is, that is such an important point when we do moderate work. Moderate work doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be easy as far as like the coordination of it or making it happen. Here we go with those squats. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, you know, it's funny. My, my heart rate is up a little bit high. That's why I'm taking a couple of nice deep breaths here. Ordinarily, I would have you like thinking about your breathing while we're doing these, these exercises. Because I'm talking so much, I notice when my heart rate comes up and I really need to take a breath. It also means that I could slow down a little bit. This is a strength workout. We don't have to be going fast. We're not trying to get a million of them done. We are making muscles and muscles take time. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing triangles. We are done with this pair and we're gonna do triangles. Feel free if you would like to drop one of your weights or drop both of your weights for triangles. We're gonna have our feet almost uncomfortably wide. One hand goes up overhead while the other one rolls down the side of your leg wherever you can get to. As we come up in the middle here, switch hands and roll it back down the other way. Both of my hips just popped on their respective sides while doing this. You can tell that I have, or I can tell, Oh my gosh, that I have been doing a lot of sitting today. All of these exercises, first of all, feel amazing, but also feel a little bit creaky. When it beeps again, we're doing swinging knees to elbows. Weights right here at your shoulders, elbows pointed forward. Your knee comes up to its opposite elbow, and then the elbow on the same side, and then down. Do you need to touch your elbow? Absolutely not. <laughs> what you need to do is your best work. Standing up straight and tall, thinking about bringing that knee up as far as it can go. Wherever that is, is the point of this exercise. You could crunch down into it, and sometimes we do. In fact, later today, we're going to be crunching down into an exercise, but the point of this one is to really think about using those lower abdominal muscles, which 
just so you know, there's no such thing. The lower part of your abdominal muscles, here we go with the triangles again. Your abs are one big muscle and they're sectioned off, which is why we tend to think of them as being kind of different, like your upper abs and your lower abs. You know, here you get like the six pack in the, the upper ab area. The fact is it's still one big muscle. So it's all working in conjunction with itself. It's not like you actually can target your lower abs. However, when that part of your abdominal muscle is doing more work by bringing your knee up rather than crunching down, it feels different and it's still, oh my gosh, toning. <laughs> your abdominal muscle. Here we go with the swinging knees to elbows. It's not like you're toning a different muscle, but you are toning the same muscle in a different way. Okay, swinging knees to elbows, really thinking about standing up straight and tall, squeezing. Oh my goodness, this is taking a lot of concentration for me today which is good news. Strength workouts are supposed to take your concentration. They are supposed to help you develop that brain body connection. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing sidestep peekaboos. Oh my goodness. That is the one where we've got our elbows at just about shoulder height. And oh God, there's no rest on this one. That's, that's why that's my mind going, okay, this is gonna be a tough one. We're gonna step to the side while opening up and closing up. So we open up as we step out, we close up as we step back together. The reason I call these peekaboos is because it just feels like playing peekaboo with a baby. You know, <laughs> you open and close like this. This is a little bit tougher because of the weights in your hands than it is when we play peekaboo with a baby. When it beeps again, we're gonna do a bent over row with a kickback. So we're going to be in basically a half of a deadlift position with your hips back behind you, your core pulled in nice and tight. Your arms are going to be kind of relaxed straight down, let gravity pull them down, palms facing each other. As you come up, you're going to bring your hands up to approximately your armpits and then we're going to go back into a kickback where you bring your hands down to your hips. Back up to your armpits and then back down. This is our pair. When it beeps again, we're doing those sidestep peekaboos again. Remember to breathe. Today is the day that we are thinking about our brain body connection, that we are thinking about making muscles. My friends, muscles are really, really good for you. Muscles are what protects your bones. As we get older, here we go into those sidestep peekaboos for the second and final time. Thank goodness. <laughs> I do, I love peekaboos so good for you and yet not the easiest exercise we've ever done. Am I right? My friends, feel free to drop your weights if you need to drop your weights. These are generous intervals and not easy exercises. So here's the thing about your muscles. My friends, in menopause, like during the menopause transition, like when your periods are weird and when sometimes you have them, sometimes you don't, but you are still kind of having them and everything seems to be going kind of awry with your body. Here we go with <laughs> bent over row plus kickback. When you are in the menopause transition, you are actually, you, all of us, are losing muscle at a faster rate than we have ever lost muscle before. Now, we gained essentially all the muscle we were ever gonna gain, meaning that we had our, our ability to put on muscle at its peak at about age 30. So after age 30, we started losing muscle more or less. When it beeps again, by the way, we're gonna do a high knee, high curl. And I will tell you that I had never put on muscle really before I was 30, so I actually had more muscle muscle slightly later than that because I was not at my peak of fitness when I was 30. So when I say more or less, here, here we go with high knee, high curl. Your hands are out to the sides and then we bring up one high knee while we're doing a curl in the middle. Palms are facing the ceiling and then palms are facing more or less your shoulders. This is a little bit of balance work. A lot of moving parts on this one. This is a complex exercise. When it beeps again, we're gonna do squatted crunches. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. How about how sometimes we crunch down from the top as opposed to crunching up from the bottom. 
So we're gonna be in a semi-squatted position. Whatever feels comfortable for you, you might just have your, your feet kind of wide. From that semi-squatted position, elbows out to the side, we're gonna bring our opposite knee towards our opposite elbow. We're gonna squeeze and crunch in the middle here. Squeeze and crunch. Now here's the thing. So during the menopause transition, we lose muscle at a faster rate than we have ever lost muscle before. And then after menopause, we continue to lose muscle. Like that's, that's just the way your body works, it is. But you can slow and possibly reverse that by using weights. My friends, this kind of workout is the kind of workout that will help prevent osteoporosis. It will help prevent mass muscle wasting. Here we go with those high knee, high curls. Okay, high breathing. <laughs> high knee and high curl right here. When you keep your muscles, when you keep your muscles strong, it keeps your bones strong. The mechanism that builds muscle, which is to say, while we are doing this, the reason why it's difficult, the reason why it kind of hurts, the reason why it feels tough is that you are actually breaking down your muscles right now. Like you are getting little tiny micro tears in your muscles right now that your body will then repair afterwards. When it is repairing, here we go with those squatted crunches, coming down in that semi-squatted position, opposite elbow, opposite knee, squeezing in the middle. When it beeps again, we'll be done with this pair. We're gonna move on to the next pair, starting with something I call overhead to high knees because it's exactly what it sounds like. Gonna have our hands up overhead. We're gonna bring them down to one high knee at a time. So yes, your hands are gonna be up overhead the entire 40 seconds. Again, I mentioned to you, if you would like to drop your weights, lower your weights, whatever, works for you. This workout might feel a little bit past moderate for you. Okay. It's feeling right up close to, oh, hands together actually. It's feeling right up close to what is the edge of my moderate today. When you pay attention to that, it is your brain body connection. It is not our goal to feel sore tomorrow. It is not our goal to feel like this was the toughest workout. It is our goal to be able to do this workout or something exactly like it again tomorrow. That's what moderate feels like. And yes, my friends, you can make muscles with moderate workouts. When it beeps again, we're gonna drop one of the weights and we're gonna do X marks the spot where we are creating the letter X right in front of us from our shoulder to our opposite hip. We're gonna chop and then shoulder again, chop down to the other hip, really pulling in your core. This looks like an arm exercise. This is actually an abdominal exercise. Once again, lots of abs today. My friends, when in doubt, strengthen those abs, not because it'll give you a beautiful six pack, but because your abs are the center of all that we do. When your abs are strong, everything else you do will be stronger. When it beeps again, we're gonna do that overhead to high knees for the second and final time. Whew. Making sure that your core is pulled in tight. Excellent job. Hands go up overhead, palms facing each other, bringing it down to one high knee and back up. As your hands go up overhead, notice where your body is, what's going on. If you feel this work in your lower back, your weights are a little bit too heavy for you right now. You can drop down to one dumbbell, that's completely okay. You can drop down to no dumbbells. The fact is, you can actually make muscles without weights in your hands. It is, it is less effective than if you have weights, but it is a perfect place to start if you are really brand new to exercising or brand new to weights. Here we go with X marks the spot for the second and final time. Pull in that core, squeeze and chop. Nice job. Coming up next, I'm already anticipating. We've got another up overhead one. I've got something called pull down crunches. Basically, okay, if you've done any of my cardio workouts, if you've ever done swimming frogs, it's basically swimming frogs. We're gonna start with our hands up and then we're gonna bring both of them down with our elbows out really, really wide. As we bring our elbows down out nice and wide, we're gonna bring up one high knee to the side in an oblique crunch. Really thinking, oh my gosh, about using your sides. Okay, so palms facing out as we bring those elbows down, out nice and wide. One knee up to the side. This is nice and slow. I'm so, 
I'm actually really having to slow myself down because this is swimming frogs. I mean, this is 100% a cardio move that we do. And so I want to be going fast right now, but really have your core pulled in nice and tight. As you have hands overhead, make sure that you're not feeling this in your lower back. When it beeps again, we're gonna do twisting high knees. Hands get to stay down around your waist. It's exactly what it sounds like. Whew, we're gonna twist into one high knee at a time. Again, <laughs> this is a cardio move. It's so funny, I didn't realize when I was creating this workout that I put two cardio moves together as strength moves because here's what I'm telling you. Even unweighted, even when we are doing this fast as a cardio move, you are actually using your muscles and therefore building muscle tone. The way that we build stronger muscles, I think I was, I don't know if I finished telling you this. After you make little micro tears in your muscles from using them, your body repairs them stronger than they were before. Kind of like, okay, have you ever like ripped something up? Here we go with those pull down crunches. Have you ever like ripped something up and it really needed a lot of pieces of tape? <laughs> And then you ripped it again and you need another piece of tape. And then you ripped it again and you need another piece of tape. It's a lot like that. Your body repairs the muscles by putting a bunch of pieces of tape, which isn't really tape, it's more muscle fiber, over the top of the marginally, slightly um, damaged muscles is what I'm gonna say, but you're not really damaging your muscles. This is exactly what they're supposed to do. This is how muscles are supposed to behave. And the fact is that while you are using your muscles, your muscles are pulling on your bones because your bones is what's giving structure to your body. So your muscles pull on your bones. Here we go with those twisting high knees for the second and final time. So as you are using your muscles, especially as we are pulling with weights here, your bones are also doing the same thing where they're getting to just a little bit of, again, I'm going to use the word damage, but it's not quite the right word. Your bones are being stressed and then they repair themselves the exact same way by adding on more little pieces of bone that makes your bones bigger and stronger. You guys, the next time it beeps, we are done, but we are not quite finished. We are going to put our weights down. I want one final exercise for us. We are doing, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely putting weights down. We are doing an alternating reverse lunge into a drinky bird. So you're gonna come down into a reverse lunge and then up into a drinky bird. My friend, feel free to hang on to something. This is not easy. Reverse lunge, drinky bird. If you would like to tap your foot down in between, please do. There is no, there's no drinky bird police coming for you. And as you can tell, oh my gosh, I've got a fair bit of wibbly wobbles myself today. Yeah, we'll hang on to Blossom's chair. Just that little bit of a touch helps you find your spot. I'm going to finish up with this drinky bird. And then my friends, that, ha, ah, that was it. That was it in so many ways. This is number 20, which means that this was the fifth one in this five day series. Every four weeks, I've got five new videos for you and they were good this week. Am I right? I know, we made muscles, we went for walks, we had light dumbbells in our hands, we had moderate dumbbells in our hands, we got it all done. And now you are welcome to either repeat this five day series or grab some of the videos from the other five day series. We're up to number 20 now. You have lots of choices. Plus you've got everything that I made last year in 2021. All kinds of weight loss workouts for you to choose from that are all meant to be moderate, meant to be exactly right for your weight loss journey. My friends, let's go ahead and open it up right here. Oh, that feels so nice. And then close it up. Give yourself a big hug and a pat on your back. Oh my gosh, what a great job you did today. What a great job you've done this week. What a great job you've done so far this year. Five pounds down every four weeks. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's right here on screen. Feel free to watch that video to remind yourself of how we're getting this done. Every day we do the same five things. You guys, thank you so, so much for working out with me. Make sure you subscribe before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.